person was hot. Everyone is hot. And Everyone's... May is thirsty. My so thirsty. She's Welcome so back to Psycho Academy Part Three. We're going with it. Um, I don't know who I want to romance. You want to romance Satch <laughs> so far? <laughs> you are at Satch after meeting one guy. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I woke next morning with what felt like a lizard in my throat. <laughs> Did you swallow a lizard? Are you a lizard fucker, Hannah? Hannah? Aww. Maya was already up, shuffling through her school bag with an idmag grin. Did you find the cat or? I found the cat. Oh, I think there's one because my showed up. I thought my cat got out and I was really scared because she's only vaccinated to be an indoor cat. Okay. Our cat was missing for like 10 minutes. Actually, I was scared. The first day of school. Hannah! You're finally awake! Her voice sliced through the air like a knife and I winced. She was definitely a morning person. <laughs> It's time for the first day of school. Aren't you excited? I can't wait to see what's going to happen. What do you mean? Is something special happening today? Look at my pajamas. I said something else. No. <laughs> oh, hi. Here, okay. <laughs> something strange always happens on the first day of school, especially to someone like you. She winked. What? Someone like me? You know what I mean. She smiled and started messing with the pile of papers on her desk. Shaking my head, I got out of bed and pulled out my uniform from the closet. My palms sweat as I slid the gold vest and blue jacket. Was it really possible for things to be different than they were at home? What if the problem wasn't actually school? I shook the thoughts out of my head and changed it to my uniform. Aww. Oh! Mm-hmm. What is it? You look so cute! It's kind of gay, my. Especially because she's blushing. It's kind of gay. That's your Jared blush on us because we're cute. <laughs> I keep looking at the computer, not the TV. <laughs> Say Really? Heat crept up my neck. Bye! <laughs> yes, completely. Your hair matches your uniform so well. You look like a flower blooming straight out of the ground. Wow. I wonder if they're really like flowers. They popped out of the snow like daisies. Daisy! You can't see, but I'm pointing to Smiley's dog named Daisy. Yeah, I have two pets. Thank you. Water stung at the back of my eyes. I turned to start packing my backpack. Honor, just let me love you. Aww. Why was I getting so worked up about something as little as this? I must have gotten less sleep than I thought. <laughs> I bet my sleep talks. Is something wrong? Uh, no, nothing's wrong. I'm just happy. How dumb was that? I started crying at the first sign of someone being nice to me. Hana, you deserve to be happy. She deserves you better. You fucking deserve so much better. Oh my god. I took a deep breath to steady my nerves. <laughs> One oddly menacing laugh. Thud. All the air left my lungs as if something with horse hooves slammed against my back. Ugh. You'll do just fine. Don't worry. This is going to be awesome. I stiffly peered over my shoulder. That... That was you? Huh? My sit behind me, her hand raised. Somehow, she had the strength of a bodybuilder. Nothing. I love her. <laughs> I was just as about to zip up my bag when I spotted the book Statch gave me laying on my nightstand. The Princess Betrothed. He said if I ever need to be transported somewhere far away, I could take it with me. It was pretty good so far. Maybe it was, maybe it would be smart to bring it along just in case I had no one to talk to in between classes. Ooh, I just saw lightning. Woo! It's raining outside, guys. Which is Marion was Arizona. Would I need it for my first mm -hmm. day of class? Take Do it I? or leave it behind. I want to take it. Let's I, take I, it. I, I always have a book on me. Same. Ooh, thunder. Playing Dead Space is gonna be fun because it'll be dark and thundery. I'll like play a horror game. My cat's gonna hear a scream. Take it. Do the thing. I put it into my already full bag and bit my biting my lip. It never hurt to be prepared, right? You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Stick with me and you'll be fine. We're gonna get separated. Yeah. My open door and together we stepped into the hallway, merging into the safe flow of chittering girls and fruit flavored perfume. Yeah. Are you eating the perfume? Oh my my 
I did not know we lived on the same floor. Gross. No, wait, really? That's so awesome. Now we'll be able to catch up. Whatever happened between you and... The river girls shifted as we head downstairs. Suddenly, I found myself surrounded by a bunch of people I didn't even know. Knew it. That took like literally two seconds. Oh, wow. What a jerk he turned out to be. My exclamations fade into the buzz of voices in the, in the air. Oh, no. What would I do if we got separated? Ma, you didn't give me a fucking tour of the school yet. I gave you a curly drawn map. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> God, Hannah. Anxiously, I searched the crowd of girls for my but I couldn't find her. Everyone was dressed in the same Osago uniform. Aww. It was difficult to tell anyone apart. And being so short didn't really help the situation. Aww, she's so tiny. As we turned the last corner down the stairwell, stairwell I saw a flash of red hair a little ways in front of me. It's not going to be her. My? I reached between the two girls and tapped her on the shoulder. Uh, huh? Oh, um... Who are you? The girl's eyes flashed, almost like a cool. jolt of electricity shot through them. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. She said nothing and turned away. What a bitch. I know, what a rude bitch. Before I knew it, I stood outside the Primrose House, watching the flow of girls dispersed across campus. Maya was nowhere to be seen, and I couldn't hear a chirpy voice. Aw, oh, man, who am I going to voice now? Oh, man. Oh, my. <laughs> I took a deep breath, biting my lip. It's a bad habit. It's a bad habit. This wasn't a big deal. I could go to class alone. Or will she come across? But some I didn't even know what boy. building it was. <laughs> I reached into my backpack and dragged out my class schedule. Homeroom? 206 Poppy Hall? Which one was Poppy Hall again? Weren't all the classrooms on the other side of campus? I picked a direction and began to walk. Okay, that's a terrible thing. If you ever are lost, Honestly. don't go in a random direction. Do the advice my mom gave me when her five-year-old kid kept getting lost Grab in the Grab a tree street. and hug it. Oh, just stay in the same spot. Oh. Well, like, yeah, I heard the but I, it wasn't like the Barney camp one and they got lost or they just like hugged the tree and sang Farrah Jaca until they got found. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> don't do that either! <laughs> Uh, trying to ignore the rising panic at the thought of arriving late to the first day of class. As a third year, where no one knew me, all the people staring. Hey, you okay? You look a little lost. Someone called me and I turned around, almost jumping for joy. John when I froze. It's John John. A normal boots jacket. He was part of the normal boots club. I could practically feel my tongue swelling in my mouth. If this was a normal Boots Club member, Maybe she's allergic I to birds. had to make a good impression. Maybe she's allergic to birds. I'm kind of scared of birds, actually. You're, fuck You're fucking Hana. Not fucking <laughs> Hana, you are Hana. Both, actually. I'm sorry, Daisy. He was one of the founders, right? Then he must be JonTron. Uh, yeah, I'm new. I don't know where Poppy Hall is. You a freshman? No problem. My class is in Poppy Hall. I'll walk you there. Really? That would be wonderful. Thank you. Was this really happening? I don't know. It seems like your life is kind of like a fucking anime. <laughs> he began walking towards the large brick building in an enthusiastic manner, pumping his arms up and down like he was some kind of show tune. I found something beside him. Okay, but the bird has a jacket. Jock needs a jacket. He's a normal Need a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice when, when my pointed him out to me yesterday, but John John had a big brown eyes and a warm looking face. You're just like, let's just talk over it. <laughs> he was basically a human puppy. With a bird. <laughs> With a bird. Wasn't there like a TV show about a dog and a bird who were friends? I know there was a dog with a blog, and then there was Milo and Otis, which is a dog and a cat. Well, new show. John Tron is a dog with Jock. I glanced at him out of the corner of my eye. Ah! A bird. A bird. On his shoulder. Birds always made me uncomfortable. Fuck, I am Hana. You are Hana. Oh my god. 
Something about the ease in which they could peck out somebody's eyes. Oh, I know, and their clowns are so sharp. Literally, I went to bird, like, feed bird ones. I don't know, like, you know places where, like, you can yeah. pay and they give you the nectar and you go in, they yeah. land on you, fucking freaked out the entire motherfucking time. <laughs> like, legitimately, my mom tried to take pictures of it because it was, like, really touristy, and she's like, oh, this is so cute, and it's just me looking terrified and me, like, <laughs> curling into a ball while birds land on me. I need to see this picture. Also, we should back up. We're really close to the mic. Okay. Oh, I'll text my mom. We'll, we'll get that picture. It'll be in the video. You'll see, like, eight-year-old Emma. Is something wrong? Why'd you stop? No, no, nothing's wrong. Can you read what I text mom? He followed my gaze to the bird on his shoulder. Oh! Th wait, that's the wrong voice. Fuck. Oh, this is Jacques. Isn't he cute? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> you can do Jacques. <laughs> it's a robot bird. It it spoke? Yeah. He puts his hand to his shoulder. Jacques jumped into his palm. Jacques is a robot bird. See? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Jacques' eyes gleamed dangerously red when he spoke. Nothing else suggested he wasn't a normal bird. In fact, if I had known better, I would have said the red, was, or the red in his eyes was painted on. Nice reference. That's amazing! Where the fuck did you get a robot bird? Sash. <laughs> Jacques twisted his head to the side, examining me in return. The more he looked at me, the less afraid I was. What? That's that not how birds work. work. What are you looking at? What? What? Nothing, I'm sorry. She's intimidated by a bird. Oh yeah, Jacques can be a little sassy. <laughs> Never mind, I'm Jacques. Right, who you calling sassy? I'm not the sassy one. I forget to feed you. I don't oh, for shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't forget to feed you. Right. Jacques, that was one time. I was alone and starving in the frozen tundra of this empty world. Loveless. Afraid. You're like a shock voice. <laughs> Ignore him. I've been bringing him with me to the drama club and he's taken a little too well to it. I see how this is. Shut me out like I have nothing to add to the conversation. <laughs> Jacques took his place on John's shoulder, the this time facing away from us as it miffed. As if miffed, we resumed our walk towards Poppy Hall. I'm John Tron, by the way. Call me John. Look at how cute John is. Hannah, nice to meet you. Oh, Hannah, that's a cute name. Oh, well, thank you. The entire Normal Boots Club is thirsting after her. And they all have the same voice. <laughs> so, how long have you had shock? Since middle school. We've been together four years now. Ain't that right? I'm not listening. I'm not listening. Yeah, well... I love him to death. I don't know what I'd do without him. It seemed like life would be a lot easier without him, but who was I to say? <laughs> We arrived at the brick building, a white sign surrounded by poppies declaring it to be, unsurprisingly, Poppy Hall. You couldn't just walk till you found the, like, building with fucking poppies on it. Honestly. Which room are you in? Room 206. Really? Seriously? Yeah? That's my homeroom. We're in the same class. Oh, shit. Ha ah! <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> John laughed and clasped me on the shoulder. Well... Wonderful. I guess I'll be seeing more of you then, right? Yeah. Right. Together we entered Poppy Hall. She was a cute one. She was a cute one. <laughs> Poppy Hall lined with fluorescent lights and Osago blue and Osago blue lockers. The light seems milling around the hallway indicated we were a bit late. We ran up the stairs and made it to the classroom just as the bell rang. My heart caught in my throat. Thankfully, the teacher hadn't come yet. Instead, students were, cl were clumped in tight pods and milled around the classroom, catching the vacation news. Thank you so much for showing me the class, Dejan. 
No problem. I'll see you around. You're fucking thirsty. You're fucking thirsty. He waved and disappeared into the ringling mass of students. I glanced through the room, looking for an empty seat. Hana. Hana. My peeled herself from between a cup, a cuddling couple. Oh, what, what the fuck were you doing? Taking pictures. Living in the moment. No, not self-versing enabled. My eyes widened. I couldn't help feeling a little smug. I realized I didn't know the way to class after you and I got separated and he offered to walk me. My made a high pressurized squeal. John Trotter walked you to class? Oh my gosh, you have to tell me everything. She grabbed me by the wrist and pulled me into an empty desk in the back of the corner of the room, right next to the window. We fucking sit next to the window, too. the fucking too. protagonist seat. We're the protagonist! So where does the lavender seat? I saved you a seat. Is that front of the classroom? Yeah, front of the classroom. John Tron! And Shane and PBG are in our class, though. Hmm. I slid in and took off my backpack, hanging to the side of my desk. I was a little bit worried that the books inside were too heavy for the bag to handle, but it held up so far. So far. And Sorry then, we got separated, by the way. And then Guy can pick up her books, and then we can marry him and have his babies. Maybe. Ew. <laughs> Fetuses. <laughs> <laughs> it can get a little chaotic sometimes. I'm sorry, I'm hanging the space bar to like move up the dialogue Don't and I keep hanging the me. Button. What did he say? That's Jacques' voice! Oh what my god. Did he smell Wait. like? Does he have peach fuzz? Is it rough? Can we just turn that on for when Jacques speaks? Right, you wanna replace me? <laughs> right, you wanna replace me? <laughs> turn it on for John Tron. <laughs> Wait, what? These are very important questions I'm asking. You need to answer them. Was his hair super silky or did it have a roughness of a dog's coat? Do you think I fucking walked a dog to class? <laughs> She's a fucking furry. My the furry confirmed. Before I could answer confirmed. the door. Confirmed. Confirmed. Stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. The door to the front of the room slid open and a tall woman strolled in. The class went quiet and obediently slid into their seats. My heart beat furiously, blood rushing through my ears. Good morning, class. Let's bang her. Let's marry her. Melodious. The teacher's melodious <laughs> voice swam through the room, calming the buzzing high students or the buzzing high of students back from break. My shoulders relaxed and my fear ebbed away. I am your teacher, Shizuka Wakahisa. Okay, you may call me Miss Shikusa. Wait, fuck, Shizuka. <laughs> Bazooka. There we go. <laughs> the emphasis she placed on the word led me believe that calling her Mrs. was a mistake she wouldn't take lightly. Mrs. Steak? Some of you might have noticed that we have a new student this semester. Its name is Thunder. A hail of murmurs passed through the class. Some people glanced at me. Nope. There was the fear again. I love the shading on her hair. Same. Would you like to come up and introduce yourself? I nodded, stood, and slowly walked to the front of the room, counting my steps to make sure I wouldn't fall. That doesn't help you from falling. Dimitri, it's me. Anastasia! <laughs> <laughs> I faced the class, took a deep breath, and introduced myself. Noticed and noticed a familiar face in the crowd. So many. There was Jean, sitting with two boys wearing normal boots, club jackets. Uh, one of the boys, the tallest one, was staring at me. The barrister frowns on his face. Look at PBG. He looks like an elf. Oh, he looks like a fawn. Fuck, he does. Let's romance he him. He does. Let's romance Forrest Boy. <laughs> he rolls his jacket sleeves up. I like him. Something about him seemed really familiar. It's because he looks like the fawn from the Narnia movies. Mr. Tumnus. Which is weird because actual PBG doesn't... Shit, PBG does kind of look like that. Well, does that mean I have to voice CBG in a, in a British accent? No, Shane's British, though. Okay, okay. Wait, he was PBG, wasn't he? The other founder of the Normal Boots Club? Suddenly, all the strength left in my knee, or left my knees. What should I do? Why was he frowning? Was it possible that I'd already made a bad, bad impression on him? You had to be kidding me. Maybe it's just a puppy dog pout. It's an act of seduction. <laughs> Dig it. 
If he didn't like me, what did that mean about everyone else? Wouldn't they follow his lead? I swallowed the face of the face of the face of the class began to congeal, forming one giant blob. That's actually a really good speaking technique. You moved from Amari Risu, right? <laughs> I nodded and swallowed again. I need to use my seductive voice, don't judge me. <laughs> then, like a beacon of light, I noticed my smiling and give me, giving me a thumbs up. That's not gay at all. Bye! <laughs> That's right. What would my do in this situation? <laughs> Kill everyone. I wish I could voice act that well. Kinky. <laughs> <laughs> I bowed my head to the class, and they clapped politely. When I looked up, PBG wasn't frowning, but he still, but he still seemed oddly confused. He's like, "Why the fuck is she so cute?" Because that's what I'm thinking. Maybe he always looked like that. Thank you. You may be seated. I returned to my seat, heaving a small sigh. The hardest part of the day was over. Except she's going to have to do that in all of her classes. <laughs> no, because in Japan, uh, you stay in your class and the oh, teachers really? rotate. Oh, yeah. cool. So you have to do that with every class. That's cool. Yeah, that's why you have one room. Oh. Emily knows lots about Japanese public high schools because guess what? She watches okay. anime! You fucking weeaboo. I just, like, <laughs> slam my face onto your hand. <laughs> I moved my eyes. I actually punched you in the face. I'm sorry. That's cool. Shizuka began to talk about the standard procedures for the semester, the rules for classes, when homework was due, and that sort of thing. It was all very similar to my old school, and I spaced out in spite of myself. A brief flicker of movement caught my eye. PBG again. Where's a fucking hoodie under his jacket? I mean, same. <laughs> and he rolls up both of them. <laughs> I do that. Okay, don't. Wait, he also has to roll his collared shirt then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, read it upside down. I glanced at him. His head snapped back to the blackboard. What was his problem? Things he cute. Class continued on like that. <laughs> uh, it reminds me of the post on Tumblr where I was like, I liked this girl in elementary school, but I didn't know what to do, so I just looked, so I just passed her a note to say, get the fuck out of my school. Oh, yeah, I, was like, I looked her in the eye and said, leave. <laughs> <laughs> Class continued like that until finally the bell rang and it was time for lunch. Ugh. My stretched her arms over her head and yawned. <sighs> I'm glad you're also doing the actions. <laughs> Man, I hate the first day of classes. It's always so boring. Weren't you looking forward to it this morning? Something about exciting things happening? Well, yeah, but it already did. You met Jontron, didn't you? Now, I've got nothing left to look forward to. That's the spirit, my... <sighs> my voice is higher when I'm upside down. <laughs> <laughs> and I was hoping to see Jared before class, too. See, sh she slouched and fell across the front of my desk. <sighs> <sighs> and Kutch K. Smiley started laying on me. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like this would be happening a lot. Is Jared really that hot? Mai's head snapped back up, her eyes flashing. <sighs> What did you say? I, uh... If, okay, I need to, I can't read upside down. If you stare directly at him for too long, your nose will melt off. I've seen it happen. <laughs> what? What? Anyways, let's head to lunch. I'm super hungry. Oh. I looked at my backpack. It held up well through class, but I was worried if I didn't take some of my stuff out now, I might do some <laughs> permanent damage to it. You know what? Fuck you. That book was a good idea. I'm not saying it wasn't a good idea. I'm saying her backpack's a piece of shit. Yeah. Well, so you have a locker. Why is she carrying around that much stuff? She is small. <laughs> Especially with Satch's books in there. She is warm and soft. Like I mashed kinda... potatoes. <laughs> I couldn't exactly afford a new backpack. I need to put something in my locker first. But if we don't go now, they'll run out of sesame seed buns. Oh. That's okay. I'll just go on ahead. Come find me, okay? Because that worked out well last time. <laughs> she's gonna. All right. At least we know where the fuck the cafeteria is. Yeah, I mean, she's going to stumble into some other normal boots. boots. I said I almost said hot boots. <laughs> 
I was so lucky to have someone like her as my roommate. Quickly as I could, I went to my locker and shoved the book inside. As good as a book it was, I was infinitely happier that Maya and I, that I had Maya around, so I didn't have to read it. Without her, who knew what I would do, from, do with myself? Especially with PVG staring at me like that. Does PGB want to go PVP? <laughs> Maybe I could ask her what was up with him when I met her in the cafeteria? Or you can ask him yourself. Uh, no, I'm going to make you do all the asking. Good point. This is how our friendship works. <laughs> It might just be the way he was. Cheered, I head for the cla- for the cafeteria. Gonna bump into him. I carried my melon bread through the mine. Fe- I've always wanted to try melon bread. What the fuck is melon bread? Uh, it's gonna be edited in, but let's Google melon bread. Do, do, it looks do, like melon. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's so, that's so cool. It looks fucking delicious. I wanna try it. Um, searching for the now familiar sight of Mai's red hair. Where is she? I can't find her anywhere with almost no empty seats. I freaking hate when that happens. That's horrible. It's like always the first day of school. It's just like, I don't know where my friends are. Are we sing in the same place we sat last year. And she doesn't even have that frame of reference because she's new. I know. And you don't have anyone's number, so you can't call them. All around me, students circled each other, laughing and joking, sharing bits of bites of food and splaying costs for sodas. Suddenly, I felt very obvious and very alone. Isn't there anywhere I can sit? Just then, I spot a table in the front of the room. <gasps> it's Brutal Moose and my spirit animal. A lone boy sat at it, stabbing his spaghetti with the vi- <laughs> with <laughs> the with the Viagra of a Roman <laughs> general. <laughs> uh, he was having a hard time with it. <laughs> I enjoy doing that voice. <laughs> I moved closer to him, working up the courage to ask to sit with him. Well. No wonder he was eating his spaghetti with a spoon. Me what too. A, wait a second. With a spork? This guy wasn't in my class, is he? No, with a fucking spoon. <laughs> I only eat my spaghetti with spoons. I don't know what you savages do. Um, I eat it with my fingers. God. <laughs> I've actually done that when I'm too lazy and just like grab a bit when it's in the container. We have very different lives. We do. I'm like, I will use three knives and a chopstick to avoid using my finger. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm hungry, grabs a chunk of spaghetti and puts it in my mouth. Although now I want to stick my hands in a bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I, I suggest it. I, this... like, I could make spaghetti. No, I want pizza. Okay. This guy was in my class, wasn't he? I saw him in the morning in front of the room. Okay. Okay. Is a calzone to like a pizza folded in on itself yes. stuffed with pasta? No. There's no pasta in it. What? Yeah. What the fuck? Really? It's literally just a pizza folded on top of itself. What the fuck? Have you never had a calzone? And it's like 10 times more cheese. My sister told me that it was like pizza but folded around spaghetti. So it was like a pizza <gasps> spaghetti burrito. You got fucked. <laughs> okay. Um, and on that note. We're, we're over time. Before uh, we figure out who this guy is who I told you who he is. Before we figure out what's special about him though. The calzones betrayed me. Smiley's betrayed by calzones. Uh, let's see what food they get betrayed out with on the next episode. Rawr! Like and subscribe. Rawr! I can subscribe. Check out our social media in the comics. Uh, Rawr! Fuck yourself. Rawr! Fuck yourself. Love you guys. Rawr! No, we don't. <laughs>